This is the story of a dream coming true. Do you have a dream? Have you ever wanted to make a difference? Zanna and Johnny Hoskins wanted to learn how to live an environmentally responsible life and to teach others about what they'd learned. Their dream was to run an eco-business, providing an alternative to imported flowers. Hi, I'm Zanna. And I'm Johnny. And we run Spindle Flowers. Spindle Flowers is fundraising to build a flower barn and has already raised over £30,000. Can you chip in to help them reach their £40,000 target by April the 15th? Here's the story of how they got to this exciting point in their journey. In 2012, they were lucky enough to buy an acre of land which was south-facing, with good access and had its own supply of spring water. The fact that it was in unspoiled countryside made it even more important to them that whatever they did on the land should be done with respect to nature. Spindle Flowers is in an area of outstanding natural beauty near the coast, with wooded hills nearby and stunning wildlife. They supply flowers and foliage to top florists, as well as doing floristry and wholesale. They focus on cut stems with variety, scent, shape, texture and freshness the kind of stems you won't find in a supermarket. There followed a period of training and research in permaculture design, forest gardening and sustainable flower growing. They follow permaculture's principles of earth care, people care and fair share. The Hoskins took out a business loan to put up a deer and rabbit fence and planted thousands of carefully selected trees, shrubs and perennials. They landscaped to improve drainage and to diversify growing conditions, adding ponds and a well and a polytunnel. The place was transformed into a haven for wildlife and people. Zanna's creative flair as a florist was gaining recognition and bookings kept coming in. Zanna became an active member of Flowers from the Farm, a multi-award winning cooperative of British cut flower growers. We've been doing this for about eight years now, um, growing these kind of foliage and flowering stems and things, focusing absolutely on British flowers. We don't grow any in any heated greenhouses or anything like that. It's all completely environmentally sound practice. So can you help a small flower farm take this next big step in their journey? This beautiful, environmentally friendly flower barn will open up all sorts of possibilities for spindle flowers. It will provide cool storage for cut flowers and foliage, thanks to the eco-friendly construction of timber frame with hemp and lime walls. It will include an office, washing facilities, and somewhere to make refreshments, benefiting everyone who works at the site, and it will enable courses for small groups. Sanna and Johnny are really inspiring people to work for, but also just very fun. I'm thoroughly enjoying helping Zanna in her garden. I love volunteering. I've always done volunteering jobs, but this is the best so far. And um, it's so relaxing. Although I have my own garden, it's lovely to be in, in this space with the birds and different things to do. Zanna and Johnny have had tremendous support from lots of people along the way. And they love to give back to their community by doing what they do and by providing a beautiful place for people to visit and take part. Thank you for watching. Please pledge now. You can find out more at spindleflowers.co.uk or go to our crowdfunder page using the search terms flower and barn.